Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we talk about one of the most difficult decisions and the heaviest responsibility that I have faced as a challenge uh, in my career as a humanitarian and social worker. I was the chair of one of the boards of a humanitarian charitable organization. And uh, we were asked by an umbrella organization to choose a member of our board to be a member of this umbrella organization. The number of the board members in our organization was about eight. And we have to vote this to a vote, confidential vote. And uh, we made a secret ballot. And before we, go on, we went to the secret ballot, we asked everyone to say if they are interested to be invited or not, and the six out of eight were not interested. So we were left uh, for two very dedicated, very committed, very noble, and very sincere uh, individuals, brothers. And we asked the board members to vote secretly to keep the transparency and the respect of each one and each opinion. And unfortunately, the vote came in the evening of that day as a tie. Same number of vote was given to both people. This is not a big problem, but the big problem is that always the chairman as a casting vote, and his vote be counted two if there is a tie. And the chairman, unfortunately, was myself. I didn't want to be seen that I'm favoring somebody to another one, because this might make a rift inside the board as a uh, department of the organization. And I did not know what to do. I have been consulting people and said one or two individuals, one, no, not two, one individual inside the organization, how to uh, make it seen that it's not favoritism to one on top of another because both, both individuals were extremely good. So after a few hours of discussion, I was advised before announcing the result and before sending the result to everybody as an email or a message uh, that I have to talk to the candidate who lost the voting. I spoke to him and it was very difficult telephone call I, that I made at that time. Start asking about uh, his family, himself, his business, uh, uh, to thank him for everything he had been doing. And uh, maybe this took about two or three minutes on the discussion. Then when it came to announce the result, I told him, unfortunately, in spite of the fact that you, you, both, of you, both of you are the same, but it was slight favor to the second candidate. And the brother took it in a very nice way, very, uh, yani, clean heart, clear intention, and what to say. He was not uh, angry or upset or whatever it is. Then I started to make some jokes and something with him before announcing it to the other candidate who won the seat. This took us about nearly uh, more than 10 hours after knowing the, the result. But to put the result in writing and send it to everybody, we have to find another tactic. Because written messages could be very dry and hurtful sometimes, and sometimes becomes blind. So we decided our strategy on three, on one principle. is two paragraphs will be written in favor of both candidates. And the third paragraph is to thank the one candidate who lost the election. 
The whole process took about at least 24 hours to announce it, in spite of the fact we knew it before 24 hours. But actually, it is not to announce a result. It's how to treat the hearts of the people who are contesting for this uh, election and to win them. Because if we lose one of them, we might have a rift in the board. And the board is actually an institution inside the organization as well. So please, brothers and sisters, don't rely heavily on just sending a message by a result. You have to treat the heart and the soul of the individual who has lost the contest before sending the result to anybody and to everybody. When him or her, before announcing the result, because we are not dealing with uh, woods, with numbers, with number of boxes, or we're dealing with human beings, with souls, aspiration, dreams, feelings, and others. So we have to treat the souls and aspiration and feeling before sending the dry messages to everyone. May Allah bless you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.